It is a scientific fact that the sun is the main driver of planetary climate, and the measurements are clear. The sun is becoming hotter, brighter. It has been slowly increasing thermal output in the last hundred years. A perennial favorite among climate denial myths is that the Earth's current warming is due to changes on the sun. One of the most famous and egregious examples of how these distortions are manufactured is the movie The Great Global Warming Swindle. What they found was an incredibly close correlation between what the sun was doing and changes in temperature on Earth. Solar activity, they found, rose sharply to around 1940, fell back until the 1970s, and then started to rise again. The film's director, Martin Durkin, was taken to task for numerous inaccuracies by Australian Broadcasting's Tony Jones in an epic deconstruction that will be studied by journalism students for decades to come. Once again, we ask our climatologists to have a look at this section of the film and to comment on it. They stop the record because they don't mention it falls when the temperature continues, so it's classic. Pick the section of the record that fits your preconception and then leave out the inconvenient parts. The graph conveniently stops at 1980 when the temperature starts to rise much more rapidly and the solar activity decreases, the opposite of what they claim. 